Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier, and welcome to a no bullshit rundown of what I've planned and what's going on. Let's begin. First of all, I wanted to talk about something that's going on the RSI forum. Disco Landos asked citizens to record a 30 to 45 second video with some really simple rules. All the user created videos are going to be combined into one montage to be shown at CitizenCon. The link is up for you and I strongly recommend that you take part and have fun. The deadline is the 3rd of October. Alright, so obviously the most important thing coming up is CitizenCon, and oh my god, I'm going to CitizenCon. I'm finally going. I'm so excited. Although it was awesome to see this from my house last year, I will be able to experience it live for myself. I need to give a massive shout out to Board Gamer who had the foresight to buy an extra ticket. They sold out so fast and I was originally very upset that I wasn't going to be able to go. A community icon, a great streamer, a great YouTuber, and a good friend. While I'm in California, I plan to do a daily video just like Twerk did for Gamescom. Hopefully this is going to give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes look at the trip. I'm going to try to get some footage that nobody else has and meet as many people as possible. If you're going and you see me, please flag me down to say hello. Just a reminder, the CIG will be streaming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You should follow the link on the screen and activate alerts. If you do that, you're going to get the latest and greatest info from CIG hosted by Sophie Girl, What the Fuck Asaurus, Sergeant Gamble, and Captain Flint. Moving on, the monthly patron backer giveaway. With the support of the backers, I'm able to offer a monthly ship giveaway. 100% of the money pledged goes back to the community in the form of this giveaway. The contest serves to widen my audience and hopefully grow the list of subscribers. My sincere thanks to those citizens and subscribers who go that extra mile to support what I'm doing. A salute to you. I'll probably be doing a prospector giveaway again, LTI, it was super popular and got a lot of people excited. If you like what I'm doing and want to support this giveaway, please follow the link on the screen now. Weekly Training Last Saturday, Enemy Contact and Aces High took over a server and had a great time attacking and defending. It was a great experience and a nice little sneak peek to the future. I put up a link to a great video capturing the small but interesting part of the training. We're going to be doing a similar training night each Saturday. Might be Squadron Battle, Persistent Universe, or even just talking about tactics in Vandal Swarm. Moving on to the Joystick series. Today I posted up Commander Z-Man's video, and in the future, Nimrod77, Red Lear, Board Gamer, Greatwood, Trip Rodriguez, Meyer, iStaff35, and Tommy TTK. I want you to suggest some people that you know of that have unique bindings, and I'm going to expand this series later to include some Hotas and Hojam setups. Oh my god, the Vanguard Hoplite. It was confirmed that the Hoplite is going to be its own unique frame. My original idea was totally squashed. It looks like the Vanguard with its central removable pod is going to have the pod removed. The ramp will be made wider, and the bulkhead is also going to be removed. So that means no combat swapping between variants. Before buying this ship, please think hard about what you want to do with the ship. If all you want is a dedicated dropship, then this is your baby. However, if you want any other functionality that the Vanguard offers, you may want to think again. I really hope that the Hoplite comes out at the original $250 price or just slightly more so that the original owners can CC you to the new ship. I'm actually really happy that CIG decided to make this a unique variant. The big ramp in the back makes sense for the troops. I'm very happy that the turret is still there. I like the green color scheme and I like the fact that the main weapons are unchanged. The bearing weapons. It looks like the entire bearing M series of weapons is going to get a beauty pass. When we got the M7A, originally it made no sense why it looked unique, but after ATV this week, it's quite clear to see that the new look is going to be applied to all the other weapons. Bravo CIG, that is a badass looking gun. Escorting Capital Ships It was announced that at CitizenCon that we would be getting the information we've been waiting for about the RSI Polaris, a sub-capital corvette. I'm going to be doing a video in the very near future called Escorting Capital Ships, a bit of theory craft on how best to protect that type of ship. Stay tuned for that. I wanted to take some time to welcome some new members to enemy contact, Invasion, Dave, Lokito, Terran, Bodhi, Quickshot, Tuna, Sea Dizzle, Stupuff, Vanov, Redshirt, and Pseudo. We're happy that you applied and we're happy that you made it through selection. So now it's time for a shameless plug. I have a t-shirt store and I have a patron site. They're both linked up in the description and if you'd like to support me, that's a great way to do it. I'm very excited to see you all at CitizenCon. Please like and subscribe to help me get the word out about Star Citizen. My goal is to grow my channel and I can't do that without the help of citizens like you. Stay tuned, fly safe, and I'll see you in California.